with the new Unreal Engine 5 Early Access being released a day ago, I'm sure a lot of people out there are wondering what to do about their current projects and if they should upgrade them to UE5. Well, after working with the software for two days straight, I feel like I am fit to answer this question for you. And if you want the short answer, it's no. But maybe yes. Let me explain. With the release of UE5, we've got a load of brand new features to play with. With Nanite and Lumen being the stars of the show, Unreal has really upped the game when it comes to game developing software. So with all these game changing new features, why would you not want to upgrade? Well, there are three big things to consider. And the impact of these things will highly depend on the timescale of your project and when your estimated project finish date is. The first thing to consider is the early access bugs. As expected with an early access release, there are some issues. And these kind of issues will only slow down your game development until Epic hotfixes them. So let's say all the issues with UE5 are fixed for the official UE5 release, leaving us with an estimated fix date of January 2022 at best. Okay, next, outdated plugins. None of the plugins used in UE4 will now be functional in UE5 until they've been updated. And this plugin update can only be done by the creator of the plugin. So let's say the plugin update is done in one to two months. And the last thing to consider is the actual upgrading of your project from UE4 to UE5. Now this may cause you no problems, but it could cause you some. I migrated my marketplace asset combat system over with no issues whatsoever. But my friend attempted migrating over something closer to a full game and ran into various issues. Of course, some of these were plugin related. So this is an immediate thing to cover, so we'll place this right next to you to do ASAP. So we've got a few potential issues. Now how do we weigh up these issues on if the upgrade is worth it? Well, I've made you a formula which will give you the answer you are looking for. If the features gained from UE5, Lumen, Nano, etc. benefit your project more than the issues we just talked about, and if your estimated project finish date is later than the official UE5 release date, upgrade to UE5. And when you're thinking about this Einstein level formula, I also want you to be real with yourself. We can both agree Nanite is the coolest thing that's happened on this world in many years, but will you really use the system to its full potential? If you've already started working on your project, you've most likely purchased or made a load of low poly assets anyway, which won't gain anything from the Nanite system. So what is the underlying message here? Well, use the equation. Be real with yourself about if you'll actually use each feature to its full potential, and if these new features outweigh the negatives. And finally, don't just upgrade for the customizable engine color scheme. Actually, wait, scrap that. That customizable color scheme is pretty badass.